Darren, welcome to Derbyshire. You've signed a two-year deal with the club. Are you pleased to arrive and get going? Yeah, really excited. Uh, first day at the ground today. Um, yeah, inside the marquee. Very different conditions to what I'm used to. Um, but yeah, it's been a been a long haul getting over here, trying to settle in, um, packing boxes, immigrating flights, missed connection flights, no baggage arriving. Um, so it's nice to switch the attention from all of that nonsense and actually just focus on a little bit of cricket for a change. So do you see this opportunity as a fresh new challenge for yourself? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's something I've, I've always been interested in doing and uh, you know, I think county cricket is, is probably a big goal of any professional cricketer. It certainly is a challenge and particularly early season will be a challenge for me and it's a challenge I'm looking forward to. And you've spent 14 years with the Dolphins in South Africa, gained plenty of experience there. How do you think that experience will help you here at Derbyshire? Yeah, look, I think uh, you know, 14 years of experience, you can't go, you can't go to the shop and go and you know, pick up uh, 14 years of experience and, and, and pass it on to another player. So, you know, I think in terms of the, the circle of life as a cricket player, it's important to pass on that knowledge and, and obviously knowledge I've learned over the years from from p uh, previous senior players and. You know, coming out, I've got massive goals in terms of, of doing well, results on the field for, for the team. And it's not just about that. I think, you know, passing on a lot of knowledge and that experience to, to some of the younger guys is a good core of youngsters. Um, I've met a few of them last year playing for the second 11. Um, so it's not just about on the field, but also off the field, in the change room, you know, in the nets, helping the youngsters out and, and just trying to be the full sort of package pro. Um, you know, obviously results are important and that is why I'm here. But it's not the be all and end all. It's also about, you know, really passing on a lot of that to that experience as you mentioned you know over the last 14 years and are you looking forward to playing a senior role at the club yeah without a doubt um, you know I think I've done that role as a senior player and, and as a captain um, you know for the last few years back at the Dolphins um, but it's also important for me to understand that I'm coming into a structure and a system that's already set and, and, and running so it's important to, to feel my way into that and, and earn the respect of the guys you know I certainly don't come here and just expect to be given a free ride I'm certainly going to work for it and, and earn the respect of everyone and help out wherever I can you know understand the dynamic within the team and, and obviously work closely with Billy and the other senior guys and, and it's all about really in this first month just finding my feet in terms of where I fit in and where I can make an impact and and then once I have just going ahead and doing that to the best of my ability. And, and how do you see your role at the club? Is it primarily as, as a batsman but also option with the balls and gloves if needed? Yeah look I think it's it's been made pretty clear to me that I'm here to score runs and, and, and score big runs and, and that excites me you know it's a it's a lovely challenge here and I wouldn't say different conditions because I have played over here for a good few years now but obviously not at this level so yeah looking forward to that and you know any way I can make an impact you know obviously I do bowl some leg spin and, and the shoulder should be 100% right to bowl um, within a month so I'm looking forward to that if, if needed obviously it, it can add a different dimension to the team but in terms of the keeping um, you know obviously Gary and, and, and Harvey are here and they are the recognized keepers and you know I want to be obviously want to be um, you know, very understanding of that, that, that that is their position. I don't want to come here and, 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 and sort of stand on their toes or put them under pressure. I'm, I haven't been signed to do that. But in the event that Gary's away or, or Harvey's injured and there's an opportunity where I might be needed, then then certainly, you know, that, that excites me. But it's not my priority. It's not what I'm here to do. But if need be, it would be good. You've also played with Imran Tahir and Wayne Madsen. It must be good, good to have people around who you know well. Yeah, it's always comforting to see some familiar faces, but in the same sense, I played two games last year um, for the second 11 um, with a lot of the youngsters. Um, you know, they're a great bunch of guys, and, and obviously, understanding that there are some good guys here. Yeah sure they're all good guys but it's a good setup you know and, and having those two games to 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 almost trial it out and and, and, and test the waters for myself it made it a no-brainer when when the offer came a few weeks back so um yeah it is great it's always comforting seeing familiar faces and and you know someone like Haradis Fulyun and, and Imran Tahir both of them two players that you'd rather have in your team than, than facing in the opposition and yourself you've just spent your final season with Dolphins and finished on a high with an unbeaten 150 how did your season go with Dolphins? Yeah, it was good, personally. Um, as I mentioned, I did have a shoulder up, um, which was important to have it done. Um, you know, although, yes, I have been a wicket keeper and not really used my shoulder much, it is important as a professional cricketer that you are able to throw. So taking a bit of time out in between the four-day cricket where, where I had been playing um, to have the shoulder up done was, was important. So it did curtail my season a little bit. Um, but when I was out there on the park, it, it went really well. A couple hundreds throughout the course of the season. And then, as you mentioned, finishing off with an 150 to, to sign off a 14-year career with, with a team that I've loved and played for my entire career was, was a fitting end.
and you arrive in England with plenty of experience in these conditions with Ramsbottom in the Lancashire League and Derbyshire Second XI last summer. Yeah, look, I think it's a, it's always nice to have that experience and that understanding of conditions and, and how to score runs on, on UK wickets. But at the same time, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to beat about the bush. It's totally different cricket, you know, playing league cricket in Lancashire compared to playing county cricket. So while it does stand me in good stead and gives me a bit of experience and, and knowledge and understanding, it's, it's important not to just, you know, rest on those laurels and expect that it's going to happen just because I've done it in the past. You know, it's a, it's a fresh new start and a challenge and one that I'm looking forward to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it is, it's going to be tough, but it's, you know, I like tough. I've, I've, I haven't had an easy ride my entire career. So, you know, it's probably when I play my best cricket when conditions are tough. So I'm looking Looking forward to the challenge.